So, here we go. I've got a new coil for you. Uh, this is uh, Mike Powers. Kind of thought this up. Um, kind of is like a fractal type coil. It's pretty cool. I'll show you some more if I get a chance. Uh, basically, what I have right now is my coil of wire. It's dangling on this bar with magnets attached to the end. And then I can just pull the wire off. And if you guys haven't seen this before, I have this pin. Uh, okay, I actually turned the end down on the lathe so it would fit between my pins. Went to Walmart. I don't know, I went to Walmart. You can find these somewhere else, but bought these pins. Look like T's. Alright. Come in a package like this. There's 40 of them in there. They are a little flexible, but they'll do what I want. Basically, I made this jig. There you go. Those pins in it. See? And I can actually cover this whole entire grid with different pins in different locations to do some pretty wild stuff if I want. Because the pins are so small. The other thing I thought about using was dowel pins. Steel dowel pins. I don't really know where to get these at. These are really, really, really stiff. Uh, they're hardened. Basically like a drill bit. Alright, so basically this coil is called the star chalice. And uh, when you get done, it kind of looks like a cup. What you'll be doing is going... Uh, this is a 36 point, by the way, Starship coil uh, type jig here. But basically what will happen is uh, you'll go from the first pin, you'll count 17, wrap around that one, count 17, 17, 17, 17, to get all the way back around. I'm going to do a couple wraps on that. And then I'm going to go to 16, and then wrap, 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 then to 15, wrap, 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 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way down to 1. Okay? So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'll just basically show you when I'm done. Uh, this pin, forgot to really mention this. Uh, I drilled some holes in the side of it. Right there. I'm going to slip this wire in it so it comes out. Yeah. And then put it back in, like so. And then basically it'll just come out the end. Right. So there you go. So now, let's point this camera down. Now I got my jig. And I got this wire coming out my pin there. And uh, the wire is attached to my roll. So basically just wrap this like this. Okay. And then I go to pin one. And then I go to pin 17. And then I can go to pin 17. I gotta put my thumb on there. Need more attention. And then I can go over here to 17. Then to 17. I think I'm hitting 17. We'll find out later. Okay, and then basically you just keep going. But this pin jig works pretty nice for this reason. And this coil isn't going to be perfect. I'm just going to wrap it real quick so I can get it done. I want to try some pretty cool stuff with it. Alright. Okay guys, got the first wrap. I'm probably just going to leave it one wrap, one wrap, one wrap. I'm just going to do one, 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 one. That's what it looks like. That's every 17th pin. Now I'm going to hit every 16th pin. And then 15th, 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 1. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, there's, uh, there's the next one. So I did every 16. And it actually came back even. So I actually skipped 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I hit 1, 2, 3, 4. Hit 1, 2, 3, 4. Unless I did that wrong. Hold on, let me count. Okay guys, I did that right. So it went around 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then basically hit every point. Alright, that's 16 off to 15. Alright yeah, guys, I got my 15s. Off to the 14s. Alright guys, did my 14s. She's getting more spread out. Off to 13. That was a tough one, boys. 13. Went around, I think, every single peg. Alright, off to 12. By the way, 12 is the original Starship coil winding. 12 points. So I'm going to do 12 points now. Alright, I lied. Starship windings 12 points total. This is 36. This is a little different. Interesting. I went from here to here to here to here. So I made a triangle. Which makes sense. Alright, now off to 11s. Alright guys, got my 11s done. 
kind of see the boundary layers in there. It's pretty sweet. All right, off the tens. All right, there's tens. Yeah, off to nines. Well, that was an easy one. Basically, just made a, uh, a square. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now off the eights. There's the eights. Now off the sevens. All right, well, there's sevens. Hit every pin. That was a pretty cool one, actually. Now off the sixes. All right, there's your sixes. That was an easy one. One wrap. Oh, and now off the fives. All right, well, there's fives. Off the fours. All right, there's threes. Off the twos. I'm sorry. There's fours. Off the threes. All right, there's threes. Now off the twos. All right, there's twos. And for good measures, I'll just wrap one all the way around it. There we go. Perfect. So there you go. This is, again, just one wrap. Okay. All right. All right, so there you go. Um, one star chalice coil. Now you can see how it kind of coned up. It's lower here than it is out here. That's why it's called the star chalice. Now if you would wrap more turns on here, it would obviously be a lot deeper. I just want to try this out with one wrap per winding, per pin count, see what happens. So, uh... I'm not even going to take it off here. I'm just going to energize it. I'm going to check the homage and we'll see what it is. Yeah, right, boys and girls. This wire is like a number, I don't know, 26. It's pretty small. Surprisingly, it's got more homage than I thought. Yeah, homage is the new word I just made up. 5.6 homages. <laughs> All right, so there you go. And uh, let's put some juice to this baby. And then I'm going to dump my... Uh, Bank cap, cap bank, my cap bank into this. We're gonna make some stuff fly. All right, first stop, 12 volt battery. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick one neodymium magnet in here. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, let's we'll flip it over. That's pretty good. Set it over here and see what happens. Whoa! Check that out. Do you see that? Jumped right in the middle. <laughs> Pins are magnetic. It's no good for this. Hold on. I did pre-drill these, by the way. With this miniature drill bed set. Yeah. I wonder where they fit a little nice. Alright. Let's zoom in. All right, there you go. One star, star, star chalice, not starship chalice, but just star chalice. So that's uh, 12 volt. Let's try it again. That sure does find its home. All right, let's try the stack. Whoa! Let's flip these over. See what happens. There we go. <laughs> Did you see that, guys? That's a trick coil. Oh, that was boring. Boring. That's pretty cool. Alright. Go get the cat bank. Alright, guys. If you haven't seen this, this is my bank. My cat bank. Little charger. I don't know if this power supply. And I'm going to dump it into this star chalice coil. It's pretty wild looking. You can see the boundary layers if you look at it close. That's the way it's supposed to work. Alright, I'll set you back here. Get you set up. Don't forget, guys, safety first, and I'm not working on a metal bench. Alright, everyone. I got this thing charged up. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it out like this. Okay, 
I checked polarities. So I'm going to turn this stack of neodymiums upside down. Place them right dead in the center of this coil. Hope you can see this. And I'm going to disconnect my charger. All right. Y'all ready? 330 volts. It's actually right about 300 volts. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> Burn the wire off. Let's try it again. Hold up. All right, guys, do it again. Got this set up a little different. I shorted my wire out, so I got it maybe a little better here. You can see my voltage. Uh, if you can't, it's three. It's 295 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my charging supply. See, it's slowly dropping. All right, three, two, one, fire. I got nothing. What happened? Oh, time out. It was a trick. Try it again. Three, two, one. Oh, I must have had polarity switched. Shorted out, completely shorted the uh, cap bank. Let's try it again. That was actually pretty cool to see the whole entire coil just expanded, went back together. Alright, we'll charge this up again. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave the charger on. Ain't going to hurt it. Fire. Three, two, one. That's pretty good. Let's just put one Neo in there. See what happens. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's crazy. I gotta show you guys just this coil. Hold up, let me get it over here. Oh! Now this is probably not going to pick up on this camera, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. Firing. Three, two, one. I hope I can get this to slow down. You can actually see it. It's actually moved the wire up on the, uh, check it out, it's moved the wire up on the form. <laughs> this might, these, uh, pins might have a big effect on this. I don't know yet. Because they are, they are steel pins. Check it out. Five, four, three, two, one. You see it? That was crazy. Alright, I flipped the magnet. Firing. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man. I think I killed my charger. Yep, fun's over. Well, I learned something. Don't short out the cat bank with the charger plugged in. Usually wouldn't hurt it, but uh, obviously it broke. That sucks. Now what? Yeah, I'll show you this coil again. It's a pretty cool coil. Really, it really is something to look at. Um, so you can see the fractional and the rings in there and the way it comb cups up. Pretty cool. Anyway, guy by the name of Mike Powers. You can look him up on YouTube. He's the one who uh, kind of has been working with this coil. It's his design. And uh, he says it does some pretty cool stuff. So maybe we can get him uh, to film it for us. So Mike, get on there and show us. Even if it's a crappy camera. Alright.